Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be showcasing an alternative method of utilizing the VC02 kit module. Normally this VC02 kit module is employed for voice recognition based control devices. However today I will be demonstrate an intriguing DIY project wherein we utilize the module to create a conversational robot. By asking questions to your own robot, you will receive answers from it. This project is both fascinating and cost effective. I cordially invite you to watch this video until the end as it will provide a comprehensive understanding of configuring the factory installed firmware or creating your own one. Hi, I am Pudding. What's your name? My name is Pudding. What's your name? I am Pudding. Your age? My age is your age. Your country? I am a Sri Lanka. Where do you live? I live in the Hawala. Your hobbies? Reading books. What is the time? Time is fine. Hello Pudding. What can I do for you? Hello Pudding. Hi, what's up? Hello Pudding. Yes, I am here. How are you? I am fine, thank you. How are you? I am okay, what about you? What do you want? I don't want anything, thank you. What do you want? I want nothing. Where do you live? I am from Pomodoro. Your age? Your age? Why you ask? Your country? Sri Lanka. Your hobbies? Reading books. Your hobbies? Internet surfing. What is the time? Time is your time. Goodbye. Have a good day. Bye. To configure the factory install firmware file, I utilize the voice AI Thinker website. However, please note that creating an account on this website is necessary. It is worth mentioning that the website is predominantly in Chinese, so a translation to English is required for smooth navigation and understanding. Once you have successfully logged in with your username and password, proceed to the product management section. Within this section, you will be able to create a product that is specifically an SDK file as per your requirements. As this website is primarily focused on voice control devices, you will notice a list of devices on the left hand side of the interface. To initiate a dialogue, select a device from the list. Our objective is to create a question and answer session using predefined commands. In an example, I selected the fan light device and proceeded accordingly. To proceed further, choose the PO offline solutions option. Next, depending on the module you possess, select either the VC01 or VC02 module. Now proceed by selecting a product name for your project and choose the English language as the desired language for your dialogue. These are the pin usage of the module. We have nothing to do with those. Follow me and select exactly as my selection. Watch my previous video also for a better understanding about the VC02 module and how to use it.
this module features a wake up word functionality which is used to activate the module when it has been inactive for a certain period of time. Unfortunately, English version module does not support to wake up word if you configure the factory installed firmware. Otherwise, it will wake up for the name with light in the blue LED light for your commands. In this section, you will store your questions and corresponding answers. To achieve this, you need to utilize the behavior section and input the predefined behavior commands provided by the factory. I have attached some of the commands in the description section for your convenience. In the command word section, you are required to enter your questions or prompts. These questions will serve as the command words to trigger the desired responses. On the other hand, in the reply word section, you should input the corresponding answers or responses that you want the module to provide when the respective command words are recognized. This section I filled before starting this video for me to limit the time duration of this video. Since the VC02 English language module does not support the wake up word functionality when altering the factory firmware, it treats all the commands filled in the command word section as wake up words. Therefore, you need not to say its name as a wake up word when you start the dialogue with it. In the speaker configuration section, you have the freedom to choose the voices that best suit your preferences. Feel free to select the voices that you find most suitable or appealing to you. You have the flexibility to Adjust the volume, speech, speed and brightness setting according to your preferences. Feel free to set these parameters to your desired levels, ensuring they align with your personal preferences and requirements. You have the option to set the boot broadcast sentence, which will be spoken by the selected speaker when you power up the module. This allows you to customize the message or sentence that is played during the boot up sequence. Leave this section as it is and proceed to create the SDK file by selecting the make new version option. Once you click the make new version button, the system will prompt you to name the SDK file. After confirming the name, the system will begin to generate the SDK file, which may take approximately 10 to 30 minutes to complete. Once the SDK file is successfully created, the screen will display the status as built. At this point, you can proceed to download the firmware file. This file can be uploaded to your VC02 module. To learn how to upload the firmware file into the VC02 module, I recommend referring to my previous video, conveniently accessible as a card in the top right hand corner now. It will provide you with 
step by step instructions and guidance on the process of firmware file upload. To upload the firmware file into the VC02 module, you can use a microSD data cable. Connect the cable to the module and transfer the firmware file to it. Once the upload is complete, you can start enjoying interactive conversations with your own robotic companion. Once the SDK and firmware files have finished downloading, extract or unzip them to designated folder on your computer. This will allow you to access and work with the contents of these files effectively. Now follow the all the steps exactly the way I do. For a more convenient and detailed workthrough of these steps, I recommend referring my previous video. It will provide you with visual guidance and assistance in following these procedures effectively. After saving the extracted files to a new folder, locate and open the firmware uploading application. You can find this application within the Hummingbird M update tool folder. Opening the application will enable you to proceed with the firmware upload process. In the firmware uploading application, navigate to the folder where you extracted the files and locate the firmware file named UniApp release update. This is the new firmware file specifically created for your robotic conversation project. Select this file in the firmware uploading application to proceed with the firmware update process. Upon selecting the firmware file in the firmware uploading application, the computer will automatically detect and highlight the COM port associated with the module. This confirmation is indicated by a yellow color validating the connection between the computer and the module. Now it is necessary to press the reset button on the VC02 module. This action will initiate the firmware uploading process and you will observe the progress indicated by a percentage value. The new firmware you created will be uploaded to the module during this process. Once the firmware has been successfully uploaded, the yellow line in the firmware uploading application will change to a green line. This green line confirms that the firmware has been uploaded successfully and the VC02 module is now ready for use with the newly updated firmware. Now that all the necessary steps have been completed, you are fully prepared to engage in a conversation with your newly configured and 
updated robotic companion. Enjoy the experience and explore the interactive capabilities of your own robot. Good luck.